Hi there. So now we are looking into how to create templates for native instrument Machina and in different digital audio workstations. And this time we will look at how to create a template in Logic Pro X with all the audio routings and MIDI routings. So let's get into it. Okay, let's look on how the templates work in uh, Logic Pro X. Um, of course, when you open Logic, you can always select that if you use this type of uh, approach or you open a previous project. But in my case, I always go through this. Uh, you could recall a recent or, or so. But anyway, for example, from, uh, from templates, you could basically then select a template that you want to work with. I have created a template for my TR8S. Let's do this now for a native instrument machine as an example in this course. I could start from the base template. Now if I would like to bring in a machine, I would basically then I will go and add an, a software instrument track, an empty one. And then, then basically I go into the instrument section from where I can then select and, and go and select basically native instrument machine. Here, this actually differs a bit from others, so you need to actually decide on this stage that if you want to use multi-output or stereo only. So you need to go and select this multi-out if you want to route each, each individual bad into, into your Logic Pro X. And, um, and this is basically how, how you do it. So um, you say that you, you have a multi-output stereo and you select that one. Now once you have selected it, uh, it will open up a, um, a machine. And here you can go and uh, of course bring in any kit, but I have a ready-made template that I, I will go and open that has some uh, preliminary mappings on it. And uh, from here I can now see that, um, for example, I, I'm currently in the plug-in mode, but then in order to route MIDI and, and audio, I need to go into this config section to, to, or, or where I can find input, output, macro and groove. So in order to send out audio from these pads, you need to select into which the audio, what is the audio destination. And of course there are many options in Machina, but in this case it needs to go like to, to your external one and uh, external two. If it would be stereo, then this would be a totally different, like only one stereo channel, totally different configuration. But I have done already these mappings, but it's very easy to change them. Like you just go point and click and say into where, where you want to send audio uh, to. And when it comes to MIDI, you basically then go into the, uh, into the input area and then so, uh, choose uh, MIDI. And here you take host and channel one. Now from host, from MIDI channel one, it only comes into kick. From host channel two, it comes to snare. From host to channel three, it comes to the closed hi-hat. And now you would need to do this mapping for all of the pads here in order to get like the MIDI in for each and every pad from Logic. And, and this is at least the practice that I use. There are other ways of doing it, but I have found this convenient. Then now when I have done my mappings, one thing to, to note is that if you have this routing enabled, it will actually override your routing. So if you are recalling another kit, but if you have it disabled, so it will not bring in the routing from the kit. So then it, your routing will remain and it will only bring the kit information. So that's quite handy. And then now if I play, I only basically then hear, um, I only hear the, 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 the kick um, and, and, and um, okay, it puts everything still in stereo because I have everything now mapped in, in one. So I think that's basically it. Yeah, but then when I go here and, and go into the mixer and um, and here I start to add channels. So now basically I have multiple 
channels. I have basically now everything coming into the into the into the kick and snare. So I'll just kill this one. So so if I now go and and uh, and basically then go and start programming MIDI for this this I I basically hear only only that so so I can now what I need to do in order to send MIDI in so if I create the MIDI region and I can do just one bar like let's do it like simple way um, and I go and program kick into so so now I, I'm only hearing kick and and that's pretty much it but then when I'm here in in the mixer and I select the channel like in this case it has automatically now mapped that audio is coming from three to four and the next one is five and six so it is coming individually and and then if I go now and and here right click and say create track it will create me a track that will route now the the MIDI into the into the snare and again if I create a track it will automatically route audio now into the hi-hats and and of course you can change this from here so uh, but it automatically logic knows that now or kind of defaults it that I want to map this into three and I have I have uh, mapped this into two you could also of course and change it from here if you want but um, that's that's one way of, of kind of doing it but it does it automatically so you don't need to worry about that so much and let's go and program some snare uh, let's see <coughs> add a, uh, a snare into it and let's add some hi-hat and also this one is now handy as I have said in many uh, in the previous videos is that you can also use no pitch when you do it like this so uh, you can basically um, use pitch and, and and it will be much easier to use it so so this is basically it from uh, from a mapping point of view and then of course you would need to repeat this to all your all your channels like all the 16 all together to get them in and out so that you can use them and um, and then but I'll, I'll just basically do it like this as an example then then if you want to create the bus you could basically get then go and create a uh, create a, a summing folder so you could basically create a tax track and and say summing stack now everything gets summed into that one and then of course you could go and rename this to drums And this one is your kick and this one is your snare and this one is your hi closed hi-hat and and then then basically you have you are you are done with this one you could leave the audio there if you want to use a kind of a default audio channel in your in your template but this would be it basically from uh, from uh, from from machina and and logic pro point of view of course you can go and and then then also color color code this so that the colors that you kind of uh, are familiar with um, for drums i've been i've been using basically uh, i've been using a, a, a red one so um, so that's that's one thing that I've been using for for the for the drums as as a color. So that's basically that's basically it. 
and uh, we have one more to go let's go there and and i think now we are happy but anyway it's a day's thing that you know you color these uh, drum channels and tracks the way you want i've been using red so i just did that way and now of course the last thing is to save this template uh, in order to recall it and, and create a new product based on the template so you go file and then you say save as a template and then you can give a uh, you can give a uh, name for it like machine and template and now the template has been saved so if i now go and say that i want to have a new one uh yeah close please and don't save uh okay i need okay let's do another one let's cancel this one yeah so now we are back in basics to selecting what type of a project we want to do and then when you go to my templates you can basically have and, and and use the machine template that we just created so if you choose that one and say okay now the new project will be created with that template and then you are ready to go and start creating uh, your beat and you don't need to do all the mappings all over the game uh, like again and again and again all right so that was Logic Pro X. Next we will dive into Studio One to see how to create templates in Studio One. Remember to subscribe for the channel for more content and uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.